Hello everybody, I'm Duke James, this is Georgia, so we're going to take... If I had to piece out right now, I would take these three provinces, but I'd... Because I can't take Bratislav, because that is Christian. So I'm going to take this province and these two. This was the main one that I wanted to take, and then, uh... If Muscovy pieces out, I'll just grab however many provinces I can from this area, and then, uh, call it... Call it a war, then. We do have a decent amount of war exhaustion, but rebel factions are pretty good. And speaking of rebel factions, uh, the Roman pretender rebels are fighting the peasants, and pretender rebels are better equipped than peasants, so they should be able to take them out. And since the uh, peasants ignored ignored this fort, excuse me, uh, I got the territory back. So if they are wiped out, then. We don't have to worry about them. Looks like they're going to be wiped out. Alright, that's perfect. So Muscovy just pieced out. Can we grab this province? Yes, we can. Perfect. They don't want to give us this province. Yeah, I think that's way too much for us to try and take, so... I think I'll see if I try and grab those provinces. Um... Imagine these troops are all going to come over here. So I'm really going to try to just grab everything that I can before those troops get over here. Grab that. Let's try and just total land grab right here. Hey, Muscovy, do you want uh, knowledge sharing? They have loans. Grab everything. Let's have these guys just walk. Actually, I could probably pick them up. I imagine the Sunni fanatics were uh, destroyed, so... If this war goes on long enough, then those guys can go down there and take that province back for us. These aren't high development provinces, but we'll see what we can get. We'll just go walk on that province. Damn it. We didn't actually take it before I told him to move. Actually, you know what? You go over there. These guys will walk there. Looks like they're actually coming down here. They're offering three territories. They always offer less than they'll actually give, though. All right, so we actually grabbed two more territories then. I kind of want this territory, because it's right in the middle. We 
we might be able to grab that. So there's no troops around here. We'll just send troops to take these provinces. So there's two Polish stacks coming our way. Kind of getting greedy here, but... Uh... Now is the time to be greedy. Let's see if we can't grab this. You walk down there, I doubt they'll make it in time. Alright, that switched to 100%, so we will grab that. Still won't give it to us. Okay, there is a Danish stack coming. So I pretty much just want to sit on this province and see if that gives me anything. I'm just besieging it. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll take that and then uh, 54 ducats. We'll get 53 of that. Especially since there is now a 4k stack of Teutonic Order probably possibly going to take those territories back, so that's good. We get 7 aggressive expansion for taking 5 provinces. And they're all orthodox, so we don't have to worry about converting them. Pull and have an heir, they do, so we don't want a marriage with you. No thanks. We get a galley and a light ship from Silesia. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell, try to sell this galley to somebody. Probably recoup some cash from that. Go ahead and call back that, uh, Spy network and improve relations with Muscovy because we did take some territory that they wanted. That's fine. We'll convert that province. Can't.
or anything. Who wants to uh, Kandatiari? Isfahan wants Kandatiari. They're not going to be able to afford us. Who wants to buy, buy our galley? Do you want to buy a galley? Most nations think that galleys are worthless, so we might have a problem selling this. I could give it away. I'd rather just destroy it than give it away, out of principle. It's probably what I'll do. Nobody wants to buy it. Try and offload it in between parts. Or destroy it. We can bump these forts down. We don't really have rebels. The pretender rebels are walking back. Okay. Oh, the plague showed up. Uh, the plague showed up, and it looks like it is passing over most provinces. It's moderate in our capital. It's mild in Tabriz. Tabriz passed over Kaffa. That's good. Moderate in Toroslar. And mild in Karli. So overall, it's pretty good, except their capital. There's 154,000 urban pops. I don't know what it was before. See, I don't... Plague's, plague's killing populations isn't that bad. They just recover rather quickly. Unless it's, like, devastating. If you have a devastating plague that originates in your country, rest in peace. We're going to move those guys over there. I did lose a troop in the other war, so we're going to go ahead and build a troop. We're going to build them by this province. He'll just walk over there and take it back. We have a thousand ducats. We also need manpower. Manpower. 13,000 manpower from the greater nobles. That's not a lot, but we'll take it because we need it. And the burgers also have 1,500 ducats, so they should really be spending their money soon. I won't take the... I won't fill out bureaucracy. I think I'm going to wait. Probably decide if I want to actually do bureaucracy and then go from there. I thought that was the burgers building stuff. It's actually... One of the estates building rural infrastructure. Ooh, we can get some cores. Yep, we'll core all of that territory that we just conquered. Truce with the Mamluks has ended. They wouldn't join a coalition, so we're not... We don't have to immediately attack them for fears of them joining a coalition or anything, because they are below 50, so we can take our time with that. Do have a lot of war exhaustion, or a relative amount of war exhaustion? So I think I'll wait for that to go down, and uh, attack them afterwards. I'm going to be a friend and take out these uh, pretender rebels for the Empire and the Romans. Otherwise, I have a feeling they're just going to walk walk back again. They're going to walk back back again. Because I imagine these are the guys that killed our rebels up here. So they walked all the way over there, and then they walked all the way back. Where are you guys going?
Oh, nope, just more rural infrastructure. Which isn't bad. I'm waiting for the burgers, though. I think I'll spend my money after the burgers spend theirs. There you go, Romans. I helped you out. Diplomatic insult. We're going to go ahead and ease tensions for that massive relations gain. Alright, Muscovy, do you want... You still have loans. Get rid of your loans, Muscovy. I could take on their foreign debt. Don't know why I would do that. If I had a massive amount of cash, sure. Be a friend. I'm not that much of a friend. I'll help you out, but, you know, just like lift a finger. I'm not actually going to go out of my way. They can use some of the cash that they stole when I fight the Mamluks. That they didn't earn, because they just... Every time I fight the Mamluks, they lose battles and then get cash anyway. Alright, I'm going to end this part here. I'll probably fight the Mamluks in the next episode. Maybe that's a year or two away. And uh, go from there. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.